Hello and welcome to Libertas News. It's Tuesday the 18th of June and my name is Mark Thomas. The summer is here and everybody feels the need to jump into the clear blue Adriatic Sea. The only problem is which beach to choose. The renowned magazine Vogue Paris might help you find your beach this summer with an article entitled Croatia's Most Beautiful Beaches for Swimming. Such an article in Vogue magazine is great publicity for Croatia and especially Dubrovnik. With its constellation of crystalline coves, Croatia's reputation among sun seekers is only getting stronger. Cast an eye over our favourite beaches direct from the Dalmatian coast, writes the article in Vogue. And two of the beaches are in Dubrovnik, the Banja Beach and the Betina Cave Beach. And as the current sea temperature is 25 degrees, it's an ideal time to go for a splash in the Adriatic. A rather special concert is coming our way this Friday in Dubrovnik to celebrate World Music Day. The Dubrovnik Tourist Board, in cooperation with the Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra, the City of Dubrovnik, and the Midsummer Scene Festival, which begins on World Music Day on the 21st of June, is organizing a musical spectacle for the citizens and guests of Dubrovnik in front of the St. Blaise Church in the heart of the Old City. The concert will begin at 9 p.m. and the Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra will be directed by Indonesian conductor and firm favorite of Dubrovnik audiences, Norman Widya, while Matija Mestrovic will play as the soloist, without doubt the most versatile artist on the Croatian cultural scene. American critics compare Mestrovic with John Williams, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tchaikovsky. So don't miss this musical treat on the Stradum on the 21st of June with the Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra and Norman Widya, which will include several more traditional Dubrovnik and Croatian compositions. This concert is also the opening of the sixth edition of the Midsummer Scene Festival, which runs until the 7th of July. And this year, besides the guest performance of the Croatian play of the life of Vesna Parun, there will be a cabaret and Marin Držić in English. And the premiere brings the most famous love story of all time, Romeo and Juliet. William Shakespeare will be performed in English 13 times on the Lovrenac Fortress. Entrance to the concert is free of charge. The popular British TV and radio host Gethin Jones has enjoyed a stay in Dubrovnik. Jones has presented a whole host of TV shows in the UK, mostly for the BBC, including Blue Peter, Strictly Come Dancing and Police Camera Action, as well as making a guest appearance on Doctor Who. Currently, the Welsh-born presenter hosts a breakfast show on Hits Radio in Manchester. He has also worked extensively for BBC Radio. Jones stayed in the luxury five-star resort, the Dubrovnik Sun Gardens, and filled his Instagram account with photos of Dubrovnik including a final one two days ago from the heart of the historic Old City on the Stradum, in which he simply commented, Goodbye Dubrovnik. <music> Time for some traditional songs and dances from Croatia tonight, with performance by the renowned Dubrovnik ensemble Linjo. The show starts at 9.30 tonight in the Lazarity complex, just east of the Old City. And the main concert of the festival, Sentimento, will take place tonight in the Rector's Palace, when three of the greatest Croatian tenors, Max Hožić, Sasha Jakalic and the host of the festival, Stjepo Gledj Marcos, will perform the most popular tenor arias and evergreens of all times, accompanied by the Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra. The music starts at 9 o'clock tonight in the Rector's Palace. A tad cooler than of late, with highs tomorrow to reach 28 degrees. A few scattered clouds will keep the temperatures lower. The Adriatic Sea is a bath-like 25 degrees. The forecast for the rest of the week is for more settled and sunny weather. Whilst visiting Dubrovnik, you can't miss the Sponza Palace, situated on the left side at the end of the main seat stratum and one of the most beautiful palaces in the whole city. This Gothic Renaissance palace was built between 1516 and 1522 and has preserved its original form. Its name comes from the Latin word spongia, the spot where rainwater was collected. The palace served multiple purposes, such as a customs office and bonded warehouse, mint, 
armoury, treasury, bank and even school. Its atrium served as a trading centre and business meeting place. Sponsor now has the role of the City Archive, holding documents dating back to the 12th century and is one of the richest archives in Europe. This has been Libertas News from Dubrovnik. My name is Mark Thomas. Enjoy your Dubrovnik day.